Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to discuss about 0 or 1 knapsack problem using branch and bound technique. What is 0 or 1 knapsack problem? Knapsack or bag will be given with limited weight capacity and n number of items are given with weight and value. We have to select the item in such a way that to obtain the maximum profit and the weight should not greater than the weight of the knapsack it this problem can be solved using many method like dynamic programming backtracking and branch and bound in this video we are going to solve this 0 or 1 knapsack problem using branch and bound how we are going to solve we are going to solve by using this algorithm first we have to sort all the items according to the ratio so this is the problem we are going to solve we have to align this items according to the ratio which i already done why we are aligning according to the ratio because we are going to find the upper bound and this will be calculated initially by the greedy approach so first you will see how to calculate the upper bound by using ratio or given items so first one we have to consider the dummy item what what is the meaning of dummy item there is a no weight and value will be given so we are taking the dummy item into the bag and its weight is zero value is zero why we have to take this dummy item in order to find the upper bound so how do we find the upper bound First, we are, I am going to consider the item 1. So, what is the weight of the item 1? 2. What is the profit of the item 1? 10. So, since the weight of the item 1 is less than the knapsack weight, we are going to consider the item 1. Then, I am going to consider the item 2. The weight of the item 2 is 4. So, already 2 is there. 2 plus 4, 6. I am going to check against the weight of the knapsack. So 6 is less than 15. So we are going to consider the item 2. So I will add the item 1 profit and item 2 profit. Then I will consider the item 3. The weight of the item 3 is 6. Already the knapsack having the 6 kg of item. So 6 plus 6, 12. So I will compare the 12 and 15. The 12 is less than 15. So I will add the profit of the item 3 then i will go for the item 4 so already the knapsack weight is 12 6 plus 4 plus 2 12 so now what is the remaining weight is available 3 so from the item 4 i will i can take only the 3 kg so i will find the profit of the item 4 based on the 3 kg then i will add the all the profits so i will get 38 so here the upper bound is 38. You may get the doubt what is upper bound. The upper bound is nothing but this is the maximum profit we can obtain from this given items. So we are solving this problem. The maximum profit we can get from this items are 38. This is what we have found. This we have calculated by using the greedy method. Now from here I am going to continue the problem from the node A I am going to find node B and node C what is node B I am going to consider the item 1 and node C is I am not going to consider the item 1 we will see it here so from node A I am going to consider the item 1 or I am going to select the item 1 so it is called as a node B from node A, I am not going to consider the item 1 or I am not going to select the item 1. It is called as the node C. So if I select the, if I consider the item 1, what will happen? The weight of the item is, item 1 is 2. So weight is 2. What is the value? Value is 10. I have to calculate the upper bound for the each node. How to calculate the upper bound of B is, since in the A itself, we have considered the item 1 so that we can take the same upper bound of A to the B. So, upper bound of A is nothing but 38. 
which we already found here the upper bound of a is 38 so what we are going to do we are going to assign upper bound of b equal to upper bound of a so upper bound of b is 38 what about c in c we are not consider or we are not selecting the item 1 so what are the other options are there we are going to consider item 2 item 3 item 4 so in the bag if i am not considering item 1 so weight is 0 and value is 0 then i am going to consider the upper bound how i will consider the upper bound i am going to consider item 2 item 3 item 4 item 2 weight is 4 it is less than 50 item 3 weight is 6 already 4 is there 4 plus 6 10 so it is less than 15 then already the weight is 10 what is the maximum weight available 15 so what will be the remaining weight 5 kg is permitted so from the item 4 we are going to take the 5 kg so i am going to take the value or profit from item 2 is 10 item 3 is 12 item 4 is only 5 part of the 9 so i am finding the profit only for 5 part so in total i will find the upper bound is 32 or profit is 32 this is the upper bound of the node c so when you are comparing the upper bound of node b and node c node b is greater so we are going to derive the problem or we are going to solve the problem only for b we are not going to solve for c so from b i am going to derive the problem further how i am going to consider now i am going to consider the item 2 one part i am going to consider the item 2 another part i am not going to consider the item 2 what is b b is already we have considered the item 1 so let us go to the node d what is node d we are considering the item 2 when i am considering the item 2 already we have found the weight of the knapsack is 2 so 2 plus 4 why 4 the weight of the item 2 is 4 we are considering the item 2 so weight is 6 and we have to find the new value what is the value the previous knapsack value is 10 plus the currently item 2 value is 10 so 10 plus 10 20 now we have to find the upper bound of d what is the upper bound of d it depends on b b depends on a in a in a we have considered the item 1 and item 2 in b also we have considered item 1 and item 2 while calculating the upper bound so in the upper bound of d is nothing but upper bound of b so you can see here so wherever you are deriving this side considering the item we can take the upper bound from the previous parent not previous parent from the parent now we will go for the e what is e we are considering the item 1 we are not considering the item 2 so if we are not considering the item 2 what is the previous weight 2 what is the previous value 10 it will be as it is now we have to find the upper bound what is upper bound we are going to consider item 1 item 3 item 4 see here item 1 item 3 item 4 we are not considering item 2 so we will take we will do the same procedure we will take the weights of the each item the item 1 is 2 item 3 is 6 the total here is 8 what is the remaining part 15 minus 8 is 7 so from item 4 we can take only the 7 so here we are finding the profit of the item 4 according to the 7 uh, for item 1 and item 3 we are taking the whole amount so total profit is 36 so this is the upper bound of the node e now we will compare the upper bound of node d and node e now which one is greater node d is greater so we are going to derive only node d we are not going to consider node e so what will be the next part till now we have considered item 1 and item 2 now what is the next part we are going to consider item 3 that is the f and we are not going to consider item 3 that will be the g we will see it in the next slide yes as i as i told already from d we are going to consider item 3 that will be the f node from d we are not going to consider the item 3 
it will be a g so what is the already weight 6 that is a 2 plus 4 so 2 plus 4 and item 3 weight is 6 so it is a total weight is 12 it is less than 50 and what is the value already value is 20 so that is nothing but 10 plus 10 so 10 plus 10 and value of item 3 12 so total value is 32 now we have to find the upper bound as I told already, if item is considered, we can take the upper bound of previous value. What is the upper bound of previous node? That is the parent node D. D upper bound is 38. We can take as it is. So upper bound of F is 38. What about G? G we are not going to consider item 3. So what, what about previous step or parent? We have considered the item 1 and item 2. So what is the weight of this? item 1 and item 2 6 take from the parent node what about the value 20 now upper bound we cannot take from the parent we have to calculate how we are going to calculate we are going to consider item 1 item 2 item 4 see here I am going to calculate item 1 item 2 item 4 item 1 weight is 2 item 2 weight is 4 so 2 plus 4 6 what is the remaining weight 15 minus 6 9 so we can take the we can take 9 kg from the item 4 it is nothing but the whole item so i am going to add all the profits 10 plus 10 plus 18 38 if you see here both upper bounds are same so i cannot omit g i have to consider g in the next step so what will be the next step till now we have considered the three item the next step we are going to consider the item 4 so from f i am going to derive the h and i what is h we are going to consider the item 4 what is i we are not going to consider the item 4 similarly in the g also we are going to derive the two things one is we are going to consider the item 4 one is we are not going to consider the item 4 we will see the next step here from f i am going to consider the item 4 what is the previous weight of the item 3 or previous weight of the f it is a 12 now I am going to add the weight of the item 4. Why? The, here we are considering the item 4. So weight equal to 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 9. So it is nothing but 21. It is the greater than 15. So we cannot do it since the knapsack size is only 15. So we will go to the next node i. What is i? Here we are not going to consider the item 4. That is why given item 4 is 0. So what are the remaining three items are there? 1, 2, 3. So what is the weight? 12. What is the value? 32. We have to find the upper bound. When I am calculating the upper bound, I should not consider item 4. I have to consider only three item. When I am considering three item, it will give the profit is 32. So I wrote the 32. So we have completed the for F node. Then we have to go for the G node. What about G node? Here two options will come one is we are considering the item 4 and another one is we are not going to consider the item 4 first we will do for the considering the item 4 so here we are considering the item 4 when i considering the item 4 what will be the weight in the previous step 2 plus 4 plus this is 6 not 6 0 what is the previous step we are not considering the item 3 so what is the previous step weight? 2 plus 4, 6 plus 9. What is the 9? We are considering the item 4. So total weight is 15. Here I hope you have understand why I have given 0 is. In the G step we are not considering the item 3. So we are deriving the J from the G. That is why we are not considering the weight of the item 3. Similarly, the value when I am calculating, I am going to give the 0 for the item 3 because we are not considering remaining item. Item 1 and item 2 are considered and item 4 is given. So total value is 38. And what about upper bound? If we are calculating the upper bound, we have to consider 1, 2, 4. 1 weight is 2, 2 weight is 4, 4 weight is 9. It is equal to 15 so we can consider this three item fully so you can see the upper bound is 38 
now we can see here the value and upper bound both are equal so when the value and upper bound both are equal it means that maximum profit we will get in the given set of items so what are the items we have selected we have selected the item 1 we have selected the item 2 we have not selected the item 3 and we have selected the item 4 so this is the combination we have selected and total profit we can get is 38 hope we have understood thank you